Hey guys, so today we're going to be uh, modeling the voice character. I'm going to show you how to use a single cube. So uh, I just opened a new file and I will need to add the background images. So I'm going to go to background images and uh, before that let me start the screen key so you can see them. Add image. I'm gonna add this to the front view. And I will need to find the image, which I think I have it right here. So voice reference image. And uh, again, I can't see it now because I'm on user ortho, so I'm gonna switch to. Uh, front view by hitting number one on the numpad and I will need to uh, adjust the position of the picture so it's almost there so if I go to this is going to be 1.5 so I'm going to do 1.45 and hit enter and it's I think it's good Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the right view, so I'm going to split the window into two. I'm going to close these two menus, and here I'm going to say right view, and I will hit number three on the numpad, and here's the picture again. I'm going to flip it horizontally, and then I'm going to adjust the position of the picture. Good. So now we're ready to work. So I will go to wireframe mode by hitting Z and now I will hit tab to get into edit mode. I'm gonna split this cube into two, control R and hit the uh, left mouse button twice to confirm. A to deselect and then B to box select these uh, vertices on the left side. And I will hit X and delete vertices. Now I can add the mirror modifier and we'll check clipping and also click on uh, adjust edit cage so we can uh, see uh, the geometry on both sides. Okay, so let's start working. I'm going to box select these two vertices and bring this down here. And I will try to adjust the cube to be in the same size of the boy's body. going to go to the right side, also uh, to wireframe mode, and I will select these vertices, and there we go. Right now I can't do much, simply because I don't have enough geometry, so I'm going to keep adding geometry to be able to uh, adjust the uh, the shape. So control R, I'm going to add a uh, loop here and I will scale this on the x-axis like so and then right here I'm going to move these right here. Okay, I will need another loop here in the middle so control R and this will help me split or uh, create the hip area and here we go very good I will need another uh, loop to create the hands the arms right here I will also adjust the shoulders a little bit and here at the front I'm gonna bring these back 
here. Maybe these as well. That's so. Good. I'm gonna also move this point inward. So you can see now that it started taking shape. But it's still very sharp edged. So the, the edges need to be uh, more rounded. And so what I'm going to do is add another loop here in the middle. And this will help me move some of the vertices backward and inward. And see here it started becoming more rounded. Of course, we can also move these individually. So, oops, there we go. And I'll do the same thing from the uh, back side. Maybe inwards as well. And there we go. Okay, it started to become more rounded. Okay, now, um, I will um, now uh, try to extrude the legs and the arms, but before I do that, see here we have only six uh, points, so this is not enough, so I'm going to add another loop here. And this will help me adjust the uh, section to become more rounded. I'm going to also delete this vertice in the middle. And see here, I now have Uh, a better uh, rounded looking loop to uh, extrude the legs. So I'm gonna select this whole loop and then I will extrude it down right here. You can see that this is not flat and it looks like zigzag. It's not a problem. You just scale it on the z-axis and give it the value of 0, so s, z, 0, and there we go. It's flat. Okay. Try to position your geometry and follow the outlines of the reference image. I'm going to rotate this a bit, and then I'm going to extrude again, and now I'm going to downsize it, scale it down, little bit. And here I will need another loop so I can follow this curve. So there we go. And I'm going to also uh, scale this up a little bit. There we go. I'm going to select this uh, loop again and I'm going to scale it on the x-axis. And let's see how this looks like here. It seems that this needs to be bigger. So I'm going to scale it on the y-axis and drag it back a little bit. And perfect. Good. So let's do the uh, lower part of the pants. I'm going to select this uh, loop. Before I do that, let me move a few vertices to make the uh, look more rounded. There we go. And now I'm going to select this again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit extrude E and then hit S for scale. Extrude and scale to create uh, another loop. Uh, I think this is good. 
And now I'm going to extrude down a bit. There we go. Maybe I'm going to scale it out a bit. And then I'm going to do it again, extrude and scale. There we go. And then I will extrude again to create the legs. Perfect. Now we need to position these, so I'm going to box select these guys here and maybe rotate them a bit, bring them back and to the side. Perfect. Okay. So now we have the lake legs created. Let's do the arms. Again, the arms also have six vertices and it's look more uh, squarish. So I'm going to give it another loop here. And I'm going to move some of these vertices to make this face look more rounded. Perfect. And I'm going to select this middle uh, vertice and delete it. And we'll select this loop. And now I can uh, extrude the arms. Perfect. Again, these are not uh, even. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to scale them on the x-axis right here. So SX0. And there we go. I'm going to scale them down a bit. And let's see if this is matching. There we go. Uh, maybe I'm going to move these little vertices. Um, three vertices here. Okay, I'm going to go to wireframe mode to see what's happening. And it seems I need a loop in here. I'm going to scale it on the x-axis to make it smaller. And then I'm going to scale it down a bit. I will create another loop so I can follow this curve. So there we go. And I'm going to scale it up. Bring it down. Maybe I'll select these and rotate them like so. And scale them down a bit. Okay. Now the deltoid shoulder. I'm going to create another loop here. Uh, scale it on the x-axis, make it flat, and rotate it a bit. And then I will now add another loop right here and select these three vertices and push them out up a bit. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, let's see what we can do with the uh, uh, the hand band. So I will select this uh, loop here at the end, and I'm going to use the same trick by extruding and scaling. So S E, and there we go. Then I'm going to extrude out. There we go, and then extrude and scale again. And this final loop. Uh, will help me create the hand. Let's do the neck. Uh, let's bring these down a bit. Maybe this one as well. And now I will uh, delete this middle vertice and maybe play with these a bit to create a more rounded Okay, good. So I will select this uh, loop and I will work on the left or uh, right side and I will extrude up and then SZ0 to smooth it and then maybe rotate a bit. Okay, so uh, no big deal. Uh, easy 
and uh, as long as you uh, know what you're doing, you can do it really fast. I will uh, go back to object mode by hitting tab, and then we'll hit T to open the tools menu and hit smooth to see how much my work looks like. Okay, and then I will add a subdivision modifier to it. And there you go. Super easy, super fast, and uh, yeah, very straightforward. Good. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to create the shoes. And I will create another tutorial uh, to show you how to create the hand. And uh, then uh, I will create uh, several tutorials uh, to show you how to create the face, because the face will take a long time. Okay, I will see you soon.